Hi everyone, my name is Emily. There's Patrick, Bruno, and Logan, and we are the Packs of Promise group. So in our needs assessment, we found that Delan had a 13.5% poverty rate according to the census in 2020, and that over 50% of Delan high school students live in low income households as well as Delan Middle School's average test scores, ranking at a three out of 10, which is below state average. And also when ranked by race, there were lower scores for minorities in comparison to white students. And so this correlates with the national average for back to school supplies per child being $696.70 in 2019, because on average families have more than one child. And if families are in low income, poverty rate area, they would not be able to afford all the school supplies that their children need. Therefore, the children aren't going to be able to actively engage in the classroom and reach the academic success that they need to because there is a lack of school supplies. And so this leads us on to our proposal. Our plan is to create packs consisting of various school supplies, and we mostly are collecting school supplies that can be used throughout all levels of schools, ranging from elementary school to high school. So this is around uh, paper, notebooks, binders, pencils, crayons, pens, just things that all students use. And we've even received like scientific calculators that high school students can use. And we are hoping that our packs will be reusable backpacks so that way the students can transport their supplies back and forth as they need. And our goal is to donate up to 25 packs to Family Renewed Community so that way the children will have supplies and bags to take to school. And our partners are St. Peter Catholic Church who allowed us to leave bins so that way they could uh, take donations and then we will be able to take the supplies that were donated and evenly distributed out in the packs and then give this to Family Renew Community, which is our other partner, which is a safe place for homeless families of families and children. And they help house the students and parents. And they are going to give out the packs to the families there. So this, so this is to our proposal, which uh, is solely based on anticipation, but as of right now, we're completely on track within the scope of our partners. Uh, on the 27th of last month, we dropped off the donation bin at the church, and the church was actually kind enough to allow Bruno to provide uh, an information session prior to Mass, uh, in which he basically uh, outlined what the project entailed, what kind of items we were looking for, and where those items were intended to go. So that definitely kickstarted our project in terms of receiving donations, whether monetary or actual items. On the 20th of this month, we plan to pick up the donations from the church. Uh, and following proceeding on the 22nd, we will be putting, putting together the packs or the backpacks, as we mentioned, uh, so the children actually have a sturdy backpack they can use within the academic setting or even without or uh, outside the academic setting. And then on the 23rd of this month, we will be dropping off the packs at Family Renew. Uh, where we intend to allow them to distribute the packs as they see fit, as they're more familiar with the families and children that they're housing. Um, but we will be evenly distributing the items within the packs ourselves so that each child has a chance to receive a fair amount of items. So the kind of items we've been receiving, as you can see in the picture to the right, uh, we've received anything from calculators to lined paper to writing utensils, etc. Um, so we will be putting those together in the backpacks so the children are able to uh, we're able to sort of foster a good academic setting for them to succeed and excel in. Uh, so they don't have to worry about the utensils or a lack of, um, so they can go from there. Uh, in terms of monetary donations, we received $20 in total, and we plan to use those donations to purchase items that you can see around the right. Um, and of course, we were doing that on behalf of the anonymous donor, but we thank them for their kindness, and we will be using that towards backpacks or items. Um, as uh, we know, we are a, a, a team and this project uh, in specific had a lot of moving parts. We had two organizations that we were working with, uh, along with um, transportation being needed and assembling boxes. Um, so we all took on various roles um, where we felt we best had the most experience um, to help benefit the community. 
Uh, so me and Bruno, uh, I'm Patrick. We were the church liaisons of the group. So we felt comfortable enough that we had connections with the church um, from growing up or uh, being members of the church currently. Uh, so we were involved in getting numbers from people. Uh, as mentioned earlier, Bruno spoke at the church and kind of definitely helped kickstart off um, the charity portion of our project. Um, Logan helped us with our financing, essentially uh, understanding um, how much things are going to cost um, for us to uh, fulfill the needs of our project in a time efficient and economical manner. Um, Emily was our FRC liaison, so that kind of entailed um, making sure that they knew when to expect packages from us, um, what kind of things we were going to be bringing to them, and just making sure that we had their full support and full trust, which Emily definitely secured. Um, and Logan and Emily also um, handled our drop off and pick up together. And all of us together uh, worked on assembling and will continue to work on assembling packages. So for reflection and sustainability, uh, we anticipate that the church will continue uh, the work we've done so far using the research and the material and outlines we provided for them to use. Uh, we know that the church is very big on charity and uh, helping the local community. So we anticipate that they will probably have some sort of um, summer program, uh, summer drive on their own um, to then collect supplies for kids coming into school in the fall. Uh, and as for learning experience, uh, we have definitely learned to communicate with the institutions around us. We've learned how to network and uh, expect to uh, get our goals accomplished with the great institutions we've uh, reached out to. Uh, um, in terms of patience, we've also learned to just you know wait for the good things. And by that, I mean that uh, getting responses back from family or new and from the church took a long time. And in the meantime, we could have you know gotten stressed out about it, but instead we took the time to really figure out what we want to do and what our goals want needed to be to then make sure that whatever outcome we produce was the best it could be. And as for community awareness, uh, we definitely learned the needs of the local ground community in terms of academic success. And we were very happy for this point as willing us to explore those needs and learn what we could do to do our part to then serve the communities that um, host us as students. And that's all, thank you.